hello friends today i'm going to show you my solar charger actually this is a charger which is used to charge a battery with the help of solar panels we can also charge our batteries directly with the solar panels but uh, that gonna be inefficient because a solar panel rated at 12 volt will be giving you output of 18 volts and thus that voltage needs to be take down to charge a battery properly because the normal lead acid batteries charge at a voltage between 12 to 14.8 volts so because of this there's a mismatch between the panel and the battery and uh, this causes a problem in power loss for example if we have a panel of 12 volt and 200 watt that means it's gonna produce 18 volts with 11.11 .11 ampere of current at 100 percent efficiency working so on the other hand we are charging a battery with 14.8 volts and the current will remain same as there is no conversion between the power and the current so the voltage we are getting now it is 14.8 volts into 11.11 .11 ampere is equal to approximately 150 watt that means we are losing almost 50 watt of power just because of the mismatch between the panel and the battery and this thing goes even worse if the charging voltage of battery is low which is in many cases if the battery is deep discharged and then it will have a charging voltage below 12 volts so if we take it as a 12 volt and current will remain the same so we will be having only 120 watt of power that means from a panel of 200 watt we are only having 120 watt and we are losing 80 watt of power just to encounter this issue we need a SMPS charger this is a SMPS charger that means a switch mode power supply this thing actually takes input from a solar panel and convert this into the lower voltage and higher currents this is done by using buck converter topology which is built in in this charger by using this topology we can convert efficiently the power into the required voltage for example if our system is working at 100 percent power efficiency that means with the same panel of 200 watt and uh, 12 volt we can have now 13.5 ampere of current at output with a 14.8 volts and almost 16.66 ampere of current with the 12 volt so now there is no that much of loss between the power conversion and we can charge our batteries efficiently we are almost draining more than 90 percent of the efficiency of our panel thus it is helping in charging the batteries properly now i'm gonna show you what is going inside this as you can see this thing is a current temperature of heat sink that means currently my heat sink is at 31.12 degrees celsius so we can also so say that this is the temperature of the MOSFET so my MOSFET is not so hot this is the current input and input voltage and input current the input voltage is currently at 17.6 volts and 0 0.07 ampere this is the output voltage which is around 16.23 volts and this is the output current which is zero that means my load is not draining any kind of current now if we go here this is the current efficiency of the charger that means it is working currently at zero percent of efficiency because there is no current being drawn 
from the charger. This F and B character here shows that in which mode currently charger is working. When there is B, that means it is in boost mode and the output voltage will go as high as 14.5 or 14.8 volts to charge a battery. And if battery is full charged, then it will be denoting F and that means the battery is in float charge mode and the output voltage will be around 13.5 13 to 13.8 volts. Now I will show you what is inside this box, the actual circuit. Now here you, you can see the many components are used. This whole part is actually the power conversion part that means the SMPS. This is the Arduino Nano which is used to drive the switch at 62.5 kilohertz of frequency and uh, these are four inductors the value of the inductors are 100 micro henry and current rating of 5 ampere that means i have used them in parallel mode and now i have a value of 25 micro micro henry with 20 ampere of current rating which is needed by my application the MOSFET I have used here is IRFZ44N which can handle a maximum current of 49 ampere and uh, it is being uh, controlled by a 5 volt logic at its gate. Currently I am giving a 10 volt which is good to turn it completely on. Heatsink is used to dissipate the power and there is a cooling fan to make it cool. This is ULN2803 to drive this fan and this is also being controlled by the microcontroller here if you can see this is the small IC this is LM35 this is to sense the temperature of the heat sink and control this fan this capacitor is for the output you can also call it a load capacitor and this is an input capacitor which is also known as input filter capacitor. These two sensors are ACS712 30 ampere current sensors. These are used to sense the input current and output current and uh, to show you that uh, how much efficiency it is working and also show you also to see that uh, how much current our battery is taking to regulate the current. These two LEDs are used to show you that whether it is in boost mode or float mode. In boost mode, these LEDs will be glowing continuously and in float mode, they will blink. Currently, these are in float mode, that's why they are blinking. Above here, you can see this is a 16 into 2 LCD which is uh, used to show you the information to the user and this is a module to take input from the user so here is the complete circuit of the solar charger thank you guys